Richmond now the new favourites in the <laughs> AFL bet, after it? their it's massive win over Collingwood. Are the punters just getting a little too excited and forgetting about Geelong and West Coast and, and GWS and Brisbane? Brisbane. I, yeah, I can see why people are getting excited though. They're a great team. They look so quick all around the ground. Good defence. They can put points on the board as well. But you can't write off any of the other teams. No, Geelong's still not. quality. But I can see why they're excited. For me this week, when you bring up Collingwood, this week Gold Coast plus 36 and a half, I reckon he's a great bet against Collingwood. They've, they've got that they've many players out. Off, and I'm not sure that they can kick enough goals to win by more than 36, even though they've got a lot more quality than obviously the Gold Coast. Well, they got beat by 50 the week before, and then they kicked one goal in the first half against Richmond and were just flown off the park. Right. So they have got serious problems they in have. attack. Yep. Um, having said that, I think their, their chances of winning the grand final are all but gone unless yep. they can finish top four, which they won't. Yeah, and, and whether they can get enough players back that are in form, because even when they get them back, you still need a number of games. You need a month to be able to get game fit. They need a pre-season, some of these guys. We kick it off on Friday night with North and Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne lost last week in Tassie. Doesn't happen that often, but they are um, outsiders this weekend against a rejuvenated North Melbourne. Yeah, North Melbourne look good. They've got quality as well. When you talk about toughness and guys who can kick goals as well, obviously they look good under the new tech caretaker coach. It sounds like he's going to get the job, right? Well, the only one who doesn't sound like he's going to get a job is David Teague, and he's beating everyone. They're talking about yeah. uh, Brad Scott going to um, Carlton, and, and David Teague's won, I think he's won four of six and lost, lost two by less than a goal. And Ratton looks good at St Kilda as yeah. well. So, so, uh, but I think North Melbourne, I'd take North Melbourne in a close one, but uh, that's really a flip of the coin, isn't it? Sydney Derby Junior, got a thought between oh. the Giants and the Swans? GWS, dollar 28. There's a couple of blows uh, missing over, from both it? teams. Ramp is out for the Swans. I can't see them stopping no. the Giants. Russ, I'm going to ask you, is, is the Derby like a lot of, like, is it a fair income Derby, these, these two? Yeah, it's they hate getting each to that teams. stage. Yeah. There is a real uh, bit of niggle. You've got to remember the first four or five times, it was big kids smacking mm, around yeah. little kid. Now little kid's grown in up. charge again and he's, he's grown, grown up. up. And so it's flipped on its head. So the Swans don't like losing and they've lost more of the recent ones than they've won. So the Giants... Could there be a stink? Could there be an all-in? No, those days are all-in. <laughs> yeah. Those days are. GWS are looking good not, at the not moment. Not this close to the finals as yeah. well. No. Um, and the big one for mine, Brisbane, still... Yeah, flying. Un Unrecognised in the markets. They're dollar thirty-seven against the Bulldogs at home where they've you know pretty much won everything all year. Yeah. It should be a dollar ten. You've been rapid all year. Russ. I love the Brisbane yeah. Lions. Yeah, I have too. A dollar thirty seven is way over for me. Just whether it's well, going to be one to thirty nine or yeah, over eighteen and a half. Yeah. I think it's going to be close between those margins. <laughs>